Hi, I'm Dewey Hollister, the Executive Director of the St. George Village Botanical Garden, the Botanical Garden of the Virgin Islands. And today I want to talk to you about combining plants with other plants to help them grow better. In some ways, this is a type of successional gardening. Successional means a plant is going to grow and then other plants are going to come up underneath it and that original plant may go away, but it's enhanced the other plants being able to go ahead and take that place and the ones that are permanently going to be there. So today I want to talk about the MAGA tree from Puerto Rico. It's Puerto Rico's floral symbol. It is a hibiscus tree unique to that island. We have one in our garden that is mature, it has these beautiful pink bell-shaped hibiscus flowers that hang right down from the leaves, and the big tree is right over my shoulder here, and it's one of my favorites when it's in flower. But it needs a friend to uh, get together with in order to have seeds. So when Hurricane Maria happened here, this area had trees in it that were destroyed in the hurricane. And I was able to get a hold of some MAGA seed on the island. We grew some baby MAGAs, and you can see them here. Here's one here, and here's one back here. Now what I want you to pay attention to right now is these are doing well. You can see they have these lovely heart-shaped leaves. You can see, what would you say, this is maybe about the height of me and my hat here. So possibly around six feet tall. And these plants are growing out in the open sunlight. Now, I think this is how most of us plant a tree. We get an open spot, dig a hole, we put the tree in, and there it is. But I want to show you how we can make this grow a lot faster by combining it with other plants. So I'm going to take you to another spot and I'm going to let you see something else. But I want you to keep in mind this six foot level. So here we are at the other location and I want to show you another MAGA tree. Now this is a seedling that is the exact same age from the same batch as the seedlings you just saw. And of course the ones you just saw were a little taller than me. And if you'll look here, this is the seedling I wanted to show you here. So obviously it's many times taller than I am. And like I said, these are the same age. What's the difference? The difference is that I planted this MAGA with a companion planting. And that companion planting was two Brazilian potato trees. So here you can see two Brazilian potato trees next to me. And I always kept a little hole cut in their vegetation to allow the tree a, a, a skylight to get up to the sky so that it had a way to go. But it was being pushed because these trees were shading it from the sides and it knows that it needs to grow higher quicker to avoid being shaded out. And that's a trick you can use as long as you do keep that hole open. The other thing about this is it's a great way of having a quick growing, beautiful plant that blooms all the time while you're waiting for the tree you really want to occupy the spot. Uh, I've actually cut these potato trees down to stubs a couple of times uh, because we've had storms or breakage or whatever, they always grow back quickly and again, keep the process going of getting that MAGA tree out of there. Now, let me show you uh, one other thing that these trees can do uh, as companions. So come with me. Okay, inside, now you can see all the trunks. These are the potato trees. This is the trunk of the MAGA tree heading up and out. Another little great trick about this is the MAGA tree is going to be rather skinny and flimsy so I use the potato trees to tie. You can see here, there's a tie here. You can see there's a tie here that helps stiffen the tree so it doesn't flop over. This is a great technique. And again, these potato trees, I can move them somewhere else in the yard after this tree has gotten thick enough that it can hold itself up. Succession is a great way to go. Nature does this all the time. So as gardeners, we should always, I think, look to nature for ideas. Well, it's been great showing you this, and I look forward to seeing you next time.